Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. Marla has stolen my tablet, so <laughs> the formatting is a little bit off. But life goes on. Today I want to talk about rushing. Uh, rushing is when you store up just enough in order to actually advance your town center or city center to the next age. Uh, the majority of people that rush do get their offensive units updated or upgraded as much as possible before advancing, but there's very limited or very minimal spent doing your defenses, uh, your walls, etc., etc., and so on and so forth. Now, um, the one thing that needs to be said is that I, I believe that we focused enough in the past on this. This game needs to be fun. You're, you're not playing this game because it's a a bad time or a chore or a pain in the butt. Excuse my language. I said butt. Uh, you're playing this game to have a good time, and I hold a very specific appreciation for that. I think it should be a good time. However, uh, when you rush, you need to rush with the understanding that you are putting yourself at best on par not above. You will never be ahead, uh, theoretically, by rushing. Uh, and the reason that I say that is because if you and I both had the exact same troop configuration at the top end of, say, the industrial age, uh, and you could get it guaranteed five stars all the time, uh, not having defensive buildings that are well behind, say for instance in the Enlightened or the Gunpowder Age, uh, you are putting yourself behind. So <coughs> you're not helping anybody at that point. You're at best on par. And that's only if you can guarantee that you're going to get a solid five-star attack every single time, then you are on par. Uh, you're not ahead. Uh, and it's, it's unfortunate. I mean, there's a lot of alliances that go ahead and rush like that. There's a lot of people that appreciate playing like that. But the minute that you are falling behind, i.e. not getting a five-star attack, you are by default uh, doing two things. One, you're pitting your alliance up against a tougher set of people. Uh, and the second thing you're doing is you're, you're failing, unfortunately. Uh, these are games of patience. Uh, and in order to actually put yourself ahead and give yourself a bit of more of an opportunity to succeed in these games, you have to have that patience. Um, we have had problems in the past with people rushing where uh, the weight was simply not pulled, meaning that they were not sitting on par. They were not able to get that five stars on people of a like town center. So, for instance, an industrial age. They couldn't go and actually get that solid five-star attack on an industrial age base. Um, I don't know. What else needs to be saying or said about rushing? But the game is supposed to be fun. The game is supposed to be fun. And I know that there are people that are extremely successful, um, but you're doing so with the understanding that you're now relying. Uh, your attack puts you on par if you get five stars. You are relying on the other person failing and failing hard. If you are rushed, um, they have to really, really eat it on your base to only get, you know, a two star, or a three star, or a four star victory, even um, depending on how rushed you are. Either they're not a refined attacker or they don't know what's going on. Um, or, like we've seen in the past, they are simply not active. But I think moving forward, that's going to become more and more of a problem where uh, people don't proceed with that understanding that if you rush, you are at best on par. Um, that's about it. And it's a controversial topic. I realize that there's a lot of people that uh, take offense to people who calling them out and saying, hey, you're rushed. And you can, I have no problem with it. We've had people that have joined our alliance and we say, you know, other people have said, hey, you're rushed. I have no problem with it. I uh, you know, as long as their offense is up, up, up to snuff and they're having a good time playing the game, that's fine. But if we don't include you in war, uh, 
there's a reason for it because you are, like I said, at best on par with the person that you're putting us up against. So that's that. Um, my best advice is to take your time when you're upgrading these things. Uh, have patience with yourself. Have patience with the game. Enjoy it. You know, you're not... There's a reason that I hang on to my little level one wall over here. It's because you don't get to go backwards. Um, you know, to a certain extent, yes, when I hit the global age, I will have another level one wall. Um, but, yeah, you don't get to go backwards. Have patience and enjoy the age that you're in and take your time and upgrade the things. And trust me, it is entertaining. I find it entertaining to go through my attack history and watch people that eat it on my base because I do take the time and update my defenses. Um, but I also enjoy the uh, the attacks that I'm able to do with my troops. Uh, I think it's a, that's really all that can be said is, is enjoy the game. And that's, I guess the goal and the key is enjoy the game. But understand that you're putting other people, especially in alliance, a little bit behind uh, based on your decisions to not uh, upgrade your walls and your defenses and all of these things appropriately. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback uh, regarding rushing and where that cutoff actually is. When do you say that somebody is actually rushed? Is it one you know, is it one defensive unit? Is it two defensive units? How far behind do you have to be before somebody says you're rushed? And do you have a cutoff for your alliance? Um, do you call one another out or do you just simply let it slide and let people leave? How do you deal with that? How do you think it should be dealt with? Uh, if you think I'm wrong in my opinion, I, I'd certainly like to hear your feedback as well. Um, as always, keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.